Hi, I'm Emily with Lake Light, and today I'm going to be showing installation of the solar illuminating buoy. There's a few items you'll need with it. You'll need a chain link, which is rated for 75 pounds or higher. You'll need a few quick links, which are sold separately. And you'll need two standard red bricks, or equivalent in weight. First thing you'll want to do is take the solar top and remove the battery cover. Inside, you will find the battery is not connected. You'll carefully align the notches. And then replace the battery in. Tuck the wire. Be sure to place the silicone pad first. Keep it waterproof. And then you'll re-screw on the top. You want to go in the reverse direction first until you hear a click and then carefully screw it down tightly. Next, let's install the ring plate. You'll turn the buoy over. You'll line up the ring plate on the screw holes. And you'll have a screw with a washer that you'll carefully screw into each hole. Next, use a wrench or socket to secure them tight. Next, you'll want to cut a piece of chain about 15 inches in length for this brick, but depending on your brick size, it may be different. The key is that when the chain meets together, it comes just a few inches above the brick. This is what's going to create our ballast weight, which makes the buoy stand upright. You'll take a quick link and connect the chain together. Next, you'll want to measure the depth of water where you are installing the buoy. In our case, the water was 10 feet deep, so we want to cut an about 11 to 12 foot length of chain. You'll take the one end of the chain link and go through the center of the second red brick this will be the anchor weight, and you'll connect it with a quick link. You'll take the other end of the chain, and you'll connect it to the quick link of our ballast brick. Next, you'll take the last quick link. You'll connect it to the ring plate of the buoy. Once that's connected, you will connect this to the ballast brick. Quick link. And tighten it together. Your final assembly should look like this. Now we are ready to install a solar panel on the buoy. You'll want to place the solar top on the buoy, aligning the screw holes. You'll take each screw one by one and start to align them and then get them started. You don't want to tighten them all until you have them in place. You'll just slowly go around one by one and keep tightening them until it's secure to the buoy. Use the provided wrench to tighten the screws slowly working your way around, tightening them one by one. Now we're ready to install the buoy in the water. When placing the buoy in the water, we highly recommend that you wear a life jacket for your safety. 
We also recommend that you organize both the chains and the bricks to keep your hands and feet clear of them when placing the buoy in the water. First, you'll take the ballast weight in the buoy, and drop those first. And then next, you'll take the anchor weight and toss that in the water. You'll notice included in your kit is a magnet. This magnet is to control both the color of the buoy and the brightness setting. The buoy can be changed between three different colors, blue, white, and amber, and also seven different brightness settings. You'll simply swipe the magnet over the solar panel to control both the color and the brightness setting. If you hold it over for five seconds, you'll control the color. If you quickly swipe it, you'll control the brightness setting. But remember, the brighter the light, the shorter the runtime. The dimmer the light, the longer the runtime will be. This completes installation of the solar powered buoy. I'm Emily with Lake Light. Thanks for watching.